you have to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, then like, why are you even going after the goal? You're listening to Working Forward, a future of work focused podcast from People Forward Network. These episodes pave the road ahead, helping us confidently step into the future as a leader who moves people forward. Let's go. Hey, it's Nikki Llewellyn Gregory, and this is the Dream Chase and Lead Others to Dream series. This episode is intended to inspire and challenge you and me. Let's design our ideal life, define our dreams, believe in ourselves, and go take action. Now let's get to it. Hey, it's Nikki Llewellyn Gregory back on the Working Forward podcast to talk about dreaming. And today we are going to focus on the action planning that it takes to achieve dreams and how to develop the action plan and key components that make the action plan actually work. So I'm excited about that. It's actually one of my favorite things to do is like understand a dream, especially someone else's, and then have them break it down with me and then put it into a plan with them. And then they're like, let's go. So uh, really excited to share with you some of the things that I've learned. So far in this series, we've talked about what keeps people from dreaming Believing that we can is crucial. Creating a crystal clear vision so that we know exactly what we're going after. Sharing our dreams with others because it takes a village and getting people around us is so important and helping other people on their path to their dreams. And now we're talking about creating an action plan. So the plan, once we have that, it's like, okay, there's nothing standing in the way. We believe in this. We've got people around us. Here's how we do it. And so I am going to walk through with you um, just some tips around how do we bring this to life with an action plan. So first of all, if you can dream it, you can do it. We're going to repeat that a lot in this series because I believe that. Achieving a dream often requires, you know, a lot of detail to be able to then take the action steps because you've got the details in place. And so we're going to talk about the rundown of what it takes to do that. And the first is getting crystal clear. So we've already talked about that in one of our episodes, but just revisiting part of the plan is to have the clarity. And I love smart goals. You know, that's an old school method for getting really clear on you know, the the vision, breaking that down into specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, timely, making sure that all of those are in place so that the clarity is there. And that also helps with belief. And then we take our dream, the big one, and we break it down into smaller goals. So if we said, okay, the big goal, smart goal is X, Now, what are the pillars or the steps? I often think of it as a staircase. The top of the staircase is the main goal. And don't forget, it's all about enjoying the journey, not just the destination. So every step is to be relished. And, um, you know, through this, it's like you have to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, then like, why are you even going after the goal? Yes, there are are things that stand in the way that aren't that fun. But I'm saying overall, you're having fun doing it rather than just getting to this end goal. Um, So if let's say, for example, that you were like your your BHAG is I'm going to bench press 400 pounds, but you hate going to the gym. Well, I mean, I mean, okay, the other way to do it is you have, you know, a you know, weight set in your basement, but let's say that you don't enjoy even doing the weights. Well, then why are you going after that goal? That's silly because you're not going to enjoy it. Like what, what's the point? So yes, we have to see the staircase. The top of the staircase is the goal. We're going to take steps and that's about breaking it down into milestones and then celebrating those milestones as you go. I also think it's really important to think about the motivation behind this. So to the point of, you know, if you're going for a 400 pound bench press, but you don't enjoy weights, then what is the motivation? Like, or is the motivation that just that you want to be able to say you did it? Like, is that even big enough? Like why? So really understanding your motivation behind it. And there should be this like deep sense of fulfillment and purpose and, you know, legacy. Maybe it's you want to leave this for your children or the people in your life. So understanding your your motivation is really important. And we have to see how this long-term goal fits into our future. 
So once we hit, for example, with People Forward Network, which is my company and where the show lives, Working Forward is an original podcast, meaning we created it without like certain partners to come alongside. This is our team's product offering, if you will. The Working Forward podcast is a piece of meaningful work. Why are we here at People Forward Network? My dream was to create People Forward Network, which is a community of leaders that are all on this shared journey, helping each other create meaningful work experiences for the people that they lead. And one component is the future of work and understanding like what's coming and the innovation needed and you know, getting ahead of all of these things in these facets that are the future to really discern where to focus your time because we can't do everything. It's like there are a million or maybe a hundred thousand AI platforms. We can't use all of them. We have to figure out which ones, right? So the whole idea, the concept of working forward is it's a component that gets to the long-term vision of People Forward Network being the best resource for people first or people forward leaders. And it's one component or we just hit a major, major milestone goal. That was our BHAG at People Forward Network, and it has been since June of 2021. We just hit it. It was to create a community where we have over 1 million listens on the network. And so we just reached it. So excited. We're relishing and celebrating. Um, but when we looked at that big goal since June of 2021, and now we're in Q1 of 2024 while I'm recording this episode, there's been so many milestones. The top of the staircase when we were at June of 2021 was achieve 1 million listens on the network. And then we had all these steps and man, it's been a fun journey. And now I'm just relishing that um, experience. But you know what? We're going to soon be building a brand new staircase because we're going to have a brand new BHAG. And so seeing that long-term vision for how this fits into the big picture we want to be at People Forward Network the greatest resource, the largest community of people forward content that helps leaders move their people forward. Part of that is getting critical mass. And so yay that we've reached that that benchmark and just uh, relishing that right now. So we clarify the dream. We break it down into goals and milestones. We understand our motivation because our motivation is what's going to sustain us. Like, is this a real thing that we are deeply connected to or is this a you know, time and space, quick thing that we just like rattled off, but we don't even really care about it. Like it's got it. We got to have that, that motivation. And then seeing the long-term vision about how this dream or BHAG fits into the long-term vision is really important. And now we start to set short-term and long-term objectives. So we want to take those big milestones and we want to break them into these short-term and long-term components and underneath that, we start to build strategies to get to those, those components or objectives and what are the actions or KPIs to get there. And so with that, really creates the action plan. It's like, I see the future. Here's that BHAG. Here's the why. Here are our short and long-term objectives which by the way, being agile is really important because you're going to learn things as you go. And it's like, oh, we're going to have to change and shift. But your long-term vision doesn't change. Your BHAG doesn't change. It's how we get there. And then breaking that down into short run action plans. And so that could be month over month, quarter over quarter. You know, what is that action plan? And then who is all involved in that? And what are their KPIs? So with that, comes the need to monitor progress. And so for us, we use a software, monday.com. I love it so much. The reason why I love Monday is because it takes big things and breaks down into project plans. So it's a project management software. And you can then tag the different people that are involved and put certain dates that things are due so that everybody is playing a part towards those milestones, towards the you know objectives, towards the reaching of the big goal. So I think having a software in place, I love that when I wake up in the morning, monday.com tells me exactly what's due today. Oh, I love it so much. My team at People Forward Network, thank you. So Chelsea and Ashley, they've been critical in standing up our software to be able to help us with like, wake up in the morning and here's my my work and getting everybody on the same page. It's been an absolute game changer. And finally, you know, on our journey 
to creating this action plan. You know, if you can dream it, you can do it. There has to be time block to celebrate. And what does that look like? Well, for us at People Forward Network, every Tuesday is our team meeting and we open up with wins and celebrations. And we also use Slack, love Slack so much. It Because we're a virtual, all remote company, this is how we communicate all day, every day. So I always feel like I'm with everybody, even though I'm not. We have a celebration channel and we are constantly shouting each other out and celebrating wins and milestones. And then on our Tuesday meeting, we open up with the positive of where have we progressed and what have we been celebrating each other. And I highly recommend blocking time to do that. And that might be even special like lunches. It might be taking time off or saying, hey, please block an hour in to go do something fun for yourself. But we have to celebrate along the way. That's key to managing burnout because when you're big thinker, big goal dreamer people like I am and my team is, you have to block the time to celebrate and take a break um, so you don't burn out. So with that, uh, I would love to offer you, if you would like help taking a dream and breaking it down into an action plan, hit me up. Send me a message on LinkedIn. Shoot me an email. We can include LinkedIn. If we haven't connected, I'd love to connect with you. Connect with me on LinkedIn. Send me a message there or send me an email. I love to hear about people's goals. So share yours. And if we can do a little uh, collaboration where I can help you break that down and then you're like, oh, I am so clear and here I go. Then it's just ready for action time. Well, thank you again for joining me on this episode of Working Forward. You know, we are dream chasing and we are leading others to dream. So congratulate yourself for dream chasing and congratulate yourself for being a person that's helping to make deposits in other people's lives to help them with what really matters. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning into Working Forward. If you like what you hear, please share it with others and make sure you're following the show to not miss an episode. We are available anywhere you get your audio. See you next time.